everybody and welcome. Um, we've already made our first bill of material using Open Bomb for SolidWorks and now uh, and we saw what uh, the properties were that we that showed up in our bomb. Let's go take a look at our let's go take a look at our bomb. That's the lever. Let's look at the top level. Okay. And uh, we we saw that these properties that came across here in the brackets um, came from a setting inside SolidWorks that is called the catalog properties filter. And we saw that when we added a property here in that, in that list, that flowed through and showed up in our bill of materials. So in this video, I wanna take a little bit of a deeper dive into exactly what's going on here with these properties and how you control, how what is in this list controls what shows up here in your bill of material. So uh, keeping in mind that these three columns on the left, part number, thumbnail image, and, and quantity are automatically brought from uh, CAD to uh, the bill of material. These other properties that are appearing in the brackets now are part of something we call the item. Um, an item is part of the, the uh, open bomb catalog, is an item is in an open bomb catalog. And those are properties that you define in, um, in this list here from CAD. So, so at, with that in mind, let's just do something, you know, let's just do something simple. Let's just add, you know, maybe we want to add weight and, uh, you know, we want to add another, you know, something else here, date saved. Okay, and, and author. Okay, there's a couple of things that we didn't have in our last bomb. I went ahead and added those over there and I'm gonna save those. And now I'm just gonna update my, update my bill of material from, uh, from SolidWorks. We see what's gonna happen here. Items will be written to SolidWorks items. A multi-level bomb will be updated. And we can just simply return over here to our bill of material, bill of material and refresh the browser. And we'll see that those properties have now come through. So, so as you're thinking about what properties are coming over from, from CAD, and you see we got these extra properties here created by and some other things that we just, uh, that we just added. So, you know, think about this as a, you know, as a list over here of properties that you want to flow through from CAD. Now I created these using the new button here and you can create, you know, your own. You can say, look, I've got, you know, um, you know, let me make a separate catalog, but almost always I use a single bomb um, a single bomb one that has no properties listed here. And I recommend that everyone do the same, but I can have a number of different catalog ones. I mean, I may have some, you know, some different properties here. In this case, you know, I may want to want to bring all of these things over. So um, I, we do a little checking there to make sure we don't have some duplicates. So, you know, in that case, I would bring, be bringing all, all those properties over and adding them to my catalog. So, so please kind of keep in mind, I don't recommend that, but please keep in mind that this list um, and what you choose here is what controls what's gonna show up in, in, the, in the catalog on, on OpenBob. So um, I hope you find that useful. I would recommend you experiment with that a little bit. Uh, and finally, I wanna point out that if you remove something here, in other words, if you remove comment from here, what that says is that we're no longer gonna bring the, the value for comment to OpenBomb but we are not going to remove it over here in, for your existing ones. So if you wanted to remove a, a comment altogether from OpenBomb, you'd want to come over here and, uh, and delete that uh, property explicitly. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, we'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. There's also more information at help.openbomb.com. Uh, Thanks.